Hey guys, I'm here with the long-awaited review, and I'm not going to say final review because you're going to be seeing this scope uh, quite a bit, but this is the Leatherwood Hilux CMR 1x4 lighted reticle scope, or what they like to call the dangerous game scope. It's perfect for uh, close quarter combat, but it's also great if you're hunting uh, dangerous game. And it has the one power for up close and personal, but if you need to hit a target at a distance, it goes out to four power. It's kind of like the best of both worlds. I have done an earlier review on the scope, and I'm not going to really get into all the attributes of the scope, to t but to tell you that it's really an incredible scope. And now that I've been to the range with it, it is an incredible scope. I haven't even really gotten this like I wanted to. In fact, I had some trouble with my mounts, and still the accuracy was really excellent. I want to talk about why I configured it the way I did and give you some uh, ideas about mounting because there are some considerations to mounting it onto your rifle, and uh, then we're going to look at some range uh, shots and accuracy. I'll tell you what, I really love this scope. And for all you AK guys out there, I will be doing an AK review with this scope as well. Now my original plan was to mount this onto my flat top, onto a flat top. This is a flat top. It has a detachable carry handle. Now, one thing too I want to recommend is go to USN ER Doc, and I'll have his link in the sidebar as well. An excellent channel. He is a medical doctor, and he has a lot of really insightful videos. Well, he bought this scope on my recommendation and has uploaded two really good videos. On his recommendation, I purchased this mounting system. So, you know, it's great to be able to work together. In fact, uh, Dave's going to be out with me at the uh, Nut and Fancy shoot coming up actually a week from tomorrow is when we're heading up. Uh, so, just to let you know, he's going to be shooting this scope and I will also be shooting this same uh, CMR scope. So, you're really going to get to see it in action. He has his mounted to a detachable flat top as well. Uh, detachable carry handle, excuse me. Uh, here, what I've done is I've got it on the detachable carry handle. Then I have a delta mount that fits into the carry handle. And then I have high rings. Now, you don't necessarily need high rings, but I'm going to talk about the reason why I mounted this way. But these are high rings. You can actually go with medium. I believe you could possibly go with the low ring. But this is a really good system. The accuracy was really there. I was having trouble with this mount because of something that I forgot to do. I forgot to put the roll pin in and it wasn't really tightening well, but yet it still shot very well. Now, one of the reasons why I mounted it like this was because of this front sight. You cannot mount this scope onto a dedicated flat top because it will. this front sight will interfere. Now, what I did, what I really was planning on doing was putting it on this AR with this riser. Now you need a riser to get over your front sight. So if you have a riser, you can use high rings and get over this front sight. I would recommend extra high rings though. It'll give you a little extra. But if you notice, this is a swan sleeve, an arm swan sleeve, and it has a detractable rear sight. And what happened was my scope on with the high rings mounted nicely except that it touched right here it would wear and that would affect accuracy. So if you had just a basic riser, you would get away with it without any trouble because the bail of the scope here would set right there. Extra high rings for this and that will fix the problem. When you have high rings, this front sight does come into view a little bit on 1X. On 4X, it just blows right past it. But extra high rings would even give you a little extra. So I'm going to recommend that if you have a flat top and you're wanting to mount this scope, get a riser. If you have a front sight, get a riser and get extra high rings and you should be good to go.
Okay, here's the view. As you can see, uh, I think that if just a touch, just the extra high rings would have lifted that up just to the right point. I will be getting extra high rings. I hope to do it uh, in the next few days. If I can do it in the next few days, then I'll be going back out and doing a shoot. Now, as you can see, this is the setup without the scope mounted on it. And this is one of the Delta scope mounts. Uh, which was the original way to mount a scope on the early AR-15s. Here is the knob that attaches it. This is a ProMag, I believe. And it does have a hole through the end, as you can see. And what happens is you can look through your peep all the way through to your front sight. So even with the scope mounted. That's a nice feature, a nice option. And I think this is going to be very doable. Again, I'm going to be putting a 20 round magazine in there to get it low enough. You put a big 30 round magazine in there, you're going to be sticking up high. So we're going to put 20s in there to get our sighting accuracy sighted in. When I was ordering some of the different scope parts to, to mount this to my rifle, uh, Natchez Shooting Supply and I'll have the link also in the sidebar, had these scopes. Now, Optics Planet had them for 360 Natchez had them for $250, $250 for this scope. It's fog-proof, waterproof, shock-proof. It's just a great... It's what the elements can dish out. This scope can take it. It's one of, the, one of uh, Leatherwood's motto. I am not a bench rest shooter. In fact, it's been years since I've been to a true 100, 200, 300 yard range, rifle range. Uh, I shoot a lot at a farm and we set up targets. But to be set up at a bench and to really shoot, this scope is a lot more accurate than I can shoot. So don't judge my shooting ability to the quality of this scope. For the money, you can't beat a better scope. Excellent quality, excellent finish, great optics. In fact, I was shooting my ACOG at the same time and the glass in the ACOG is superlative. This glass was just on par. In fact, I really couldn't tell the difference in looking between the two. So, excellent scope, excellent accuracy, durability, thumbs up Leatherwood. Great product. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Mm -hmm.